Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for uh, February uh, 20th, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, Personal Readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgos coming in with the Three of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So it looks like be right away, Virgo, there is a coming a complete ending. You guys are no longer giving to the situation anymore with the Six of Pentacles in reverse to the Three of Cups. Maybe just some sort of jealousy is involved in the situation here with the Queen of Pentacles also in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, uh, um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Virgo, a uh, Leo here is uh, as well. And uh, a Pisces, uh, heavy on the Pisces, and a Gemini as well, Virgos, all right? Doesn't the energy don't, <laughs> the energy doesn't look all that great, Virgos, forgive me, all right? So, <laughs> at the end of the day, it looks like the, this connection is coming to a complete ending with the Three of Cups to the Six of Pentacles. You're no longer going to give to the situation, situa situation anymore because you guys are simply do not trusting you guys do not trust the situation at all uh whatever's going on in, in with this gr friend group with this group of people or this three-party situation it's like you're no longer going to give more than what you should be giving towards it i do believe people may have been taking advantage of your energy with the six of pentacles and that's why you guys are simply pulling your energy back with the queen of pentacles in reverse you, you you don't trust it you fear that if you were to give to any more people that they're just simply going to take advantage of it or they were going to simply be a fake friend to you uh where is it it's the two of swords no fucking way no way like two-faced type of energy here it's crazy and then the Ten of Wands, the Tower, Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. So this tower had to come in for you guys. So that way, uh, what? The reveal? It's like the re revealing the truth. It, the, the truth had to be revealed in some sort of way. So it had to come in in this type of way for some of you guys. And I don't believe that you guys are going to want to forgive this person at the end of the day with the Ten of Wands. It's like, no, you're carrying so much crap already on your shoulders. And the last thing that you need is anybody in your energy who is not going to reciprocate that right back towards you guys. You have, have no problem giving at all. But if people are not going to give to you with the Three of Cups, you're good riddance. Bye. And the Ace of Cups is coming directly to you guys, uh, Virgos, with the Eight of Cups. So automatically what that's saying is you're no longer giving to the situation anymore you fear it and you also do not trust anybody to get anywhere close to you anymore because every single time you guys give to people they either give you less than what you deserve or they don't reciprocate that energy there's a saying here you're going to starve at a table with people who are also starving and then you're also going to eat at the same table with the people that you were starving with do you understand what I'm saying? So this is a very big saying and only big fucking mindset people fucking know this type of shit. So it's like, you know, it doesn't make sense. Like if people are going to sit there and, and watch you suffer or whatever, and they're never going to be there for you or whatever the case is. Yeah, you're, you're not going to be there uh, with the six of pentacles in reverse giving to anybody anymore. Uh, maybe there's people are going to be gossiping or they're talking a lot of shit as well. Three of cups. But in the end, the Ace of Cups is coming directly for you guys. So it's saying, no problem, everything's going to be okay, Eight of Cups. So it, there, the Spirit is hand-issuing you guys this Ace of Cups for making the decision to walk away with integrity on the New Moon Energy, which is going to be good for you guys because this is actually going to be uh, an opportunity for you guys to build in prosperity and also on a new path. A lot of you guys are going to be seeing lily pads or lilies or going down by the water and you guys see these things or down by a pot and you're going to also see these things. And there's somebody here. I don't see any swans here, but I do see that somebody is definitely going to be seeing a swan and you're also going to be seeing a white feather. These two things are going to be very, very significant for you guys. That's letting you know spirit and the angels are guiding you on the way. Sometimes shit has to happen in order for you to find yourself eight of cups to walk away from people, places and things that do not serve your highest good and they're and and spirit is literally uh, uh they're they say condoning so they are going to help you out with the situation with the ace of cups all right there's an aries leo sagittarius who is not all that great either everybody seems to be in reverse at the moment <laughs> nobody seems to be okay <sighs> So this Queen of Wands was using bad intelligence. They didn't have any good intelligence at all uh, from what I'm seeing here, which caused a little bit of an argument. Uh, you guys don't have time for the petty shit at the end of the day either. With the Empress in reverse, it's like you go towards somebody else and there is this Empress here has to stop doubting themselves. Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups as well. It's almost like 
this was meant to happen so that way you guys can take that big cup that you guys was helping everybody else out with and you guys time for you guys to give to yourself with the queen of cups be careful that you guys don't end up getting stuck or anything like this make sure that everything is going to be okay when you guys are walking or whatever the case is saying that the weather is going to be kind of cold or it might get a little bit cold so you just have to maybe jump into an uber or whatever the case is to get a lift somebody here is going to end up needing a lift in some sort of way with the six of swords five of pentacles realistically this is a jealous person this one here doesn't trust or anybody anymore it's just a lot of jealous energy here uh, between two people and one person is not being respected properly so for that they are calling it a day they're walking away they're moving away from the situation they don't have time for the bullshit anymore the other one doesn't seem like they're all that great they are too much conflict here as well uh, what am I doing? Why am I going that way for? All right. At the end of the day, Virgos, <laughs> there is no more options for this person at all whatsoever with the six, with the seven of cups in reverse. There's no more options to figure out on whether or not you're going to stick around or you're not going to stick around. The energy is done and closed off. You walked away, then it's done and over with. You walked away. It's not going to be able to get fixed because it's the ten of wands. And then the tower card and the ace of cups. It's like this had to happen for you guys to be able to walk away so that way you guys can walk on your path with integrity, all right? And then this one here now, it's like, no, the, there's nothing to think about. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing to decide. There's nothing here to decide at all anymore. It's done and over with, death card. And then they're going to try and come back towards you again, saying to you, hey, you know, uh, can we hang out? Can we whatever? And it's saying you're defending yourself with the seven of wands of the Hierophant. Some of you guys are spiritual workers. Some of you guys are also practitioners as well. Some of you guys also teach people with spirituality too. And somebody here had the audacity to sit down and take that as a bad thing with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and retaliate and make a stupid petty argument out of it which was very fucking stupid knight of cups seven of wands hierophant everything's going to be okay for you guys you guys offended yourself with knowing that damn well damn well everything that you guys do is with love uh genuinity it's honest and it's very very kind and loving hearted all right virgo so you guys did nothing wrong this person's just very childish and very immature they're going to have a lot of delays when it comes into their life when it comes to the sun card and the temperance card they are going to have a lot of delays in their life when it comes to their happiness and when it comes to their patience they're really going to have to think about it with the five of cups on why they did what they did they're going to have to think about it because they had many opportunities to maybe change their ways whatever the case is but it's like you're still sad, you're still upset, you're still mourning over whatever the fuck you got going on there. And that's simply because somebody here should never have been treated a certain way. And somebody here was very, very childish, very immature, talking their shit. Now they're going to have delays. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, they're going to be delayed from receiving their happiness and their, t and their patience because still it's the Five of Cups. The ending card is the Five of Cups, you understand? So even if the Sun card and the Temperance card is still in, in the middle of the reading, it's still the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You guys are releasing and let it go, letting it go. You don't have time for the immature shit. And you're going to focus on your happiness while the other person is sitting there and hurt and and sad and whatever the case is all right so this person here is just very jealous very rude er disrespectful uh they don't have any good intelligence when they're making their discernment of sitting there arguing with people making petty arguments for no reason and press in reverse no like everybody's in reverse right now you guys are moving on you don't have time for the bullshit you'd prefer to stay by yourself than to be around people who are just so childish you don't it's like it's like you you say something and then all of a sudden it turns into an argument this is why Virgos you guys need to understand when you talk to people and you tell people the truth and they turn it into an argument and they make it and they make it seem like you're the problem that's exactly how you know they're the problem because there's no reason why two people can't have a normal conversation without it being turning into an argument and the moment it turns into any type of argument that means this Queen of Wands is the problem. Queen of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles, bad. You you did bad. You straight up did bad. You went out of your way to do this to somebody and they would never have done that to you for that Queen of Cups. You guys are choosing to be by yourselves, Five of Pentacles, fuck it. Like you have no problem being alone with the Five of Pentacles. It's not going to be an issue for you guys. And realistically, Virgos, it seems like you guys can see the truth for exactly what it is now. In a relationship, in a friend group, in a marriage, anytime you ask somebody something or you tell somebody Somebody something and they become automatically defensive why why did you get triggered for it that's the first question why did you get triggered for 
Why did what that person say to you? Why did it affect you to the point where you had to where you had to go back and say something fucked up back in return and thinking that that shit was okay when it wasn't okay? So Virgos, you guys are calling it a day. Herman reverse, you're jumping out of Herman and you are seeing the truth for exactly what it is. This person's gonna try and see if they can come back towards you guys. King of Pentacles, it's not a good idea. There's no connection here with the Two of Cups in reverse. I don't see this ever ending up in any type of reconciliation at all. With the Two of Cups in reverse, King of Pentacles, you don't have time for it anymore at all. What's However, Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Devil card, and the Strength card here as well. You're no longer going to be able to move forward to this connection. You're releasing and letting it go, and you're taking con you're taking your power back. That's straight up what it is. You're taking your power back out of the situation because you don't have time to be around people who are low vibrational, people who are disrespectful, people who are narcissistic, and people who could potentially be very much so jealous of you, but acting like they're all kiki to your face. This is another problem for you guys that you guys don't have, and you don't also have time for people to think that you're arguing with them when you're not arguing with them, but they, they're the ones that ended up turning it into an argument. It's right here. This is somebody here that had bad intelligence by saying something that they should never have said and creating a stupid argument out of it. And then you guys are defending yourself, saying, you know what, fuck it, like, let it go. I know what you were speaking here is the Queen of Cups, all right? What you were saying was the truth. It was pure and it was honest. And this person wasn't able to handle whatever it was that you were saying to them. So for that, it becomes more so fucked up for them. And uh, realistically, this person's going to have to think about it for a second with the Two of Wands. There could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who needs to be very careful with the Four of Swords. Be very mindful uh, as well with what it is that you're trying to manifest onto people with the Four of Swords. Be very, very careful in this energy. You guys have no desire in wasting your time with anybody anymore. Hang, man, you're calling it a day. Fuck it. Fuck everybody at this point. Three of Wands, you're moving on with your life. You're, you're simply moving on with your life. Uh, some of you guys are planning on making a move, either moving homes, moving, just simply moving, making a move going forward and releasing a lot of things behind uh, to... Okay, Virgos, and then here, there's a Karen Surprise of Scorpio who is like deceiving themselves. They haven't called judgment on this situation because they don't know exactly what they do, but for some reason, they seem like they have, uh, they are very much so interested in you, but they're very much so at a crossroad. They don't, they really don't know what to do at all between the two of you guys, and they don't know, they really don't know what to do. It's a judgment reverse. They're kind of scared to come towards you guys with the Nine of Wands, but they're stressing out a lot with the Nine of Swords, the Moon card, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So maybe this person's energy is like very arrogant maybe they like to wear really really nice things maybe they like to wear louis vuitton uh big brand obviously clothing it's a pisces it's it's pisces energy this person likes to wear really really nice clothes all the time have that fabulous life whatever the case is but they're very much so in their head at the moment with the nine of swords and the moon card maybe the moon energy is a little bit fucking them up a little bit but they want to come rushing towards you guys but they don't know how to do that and they don't know how to communicate with you guys either and even if they were to communicate with you they would still come off as somebody who's very arrogant um but yeah realistically that's really what it comes down to uh this person here may act kind of two-faced at certain times which kind of makes sense as well because it's a two of swords seven of swords they know how they feel but they're not going towards how they feel do you understand they're allowing them to worry they're allowing the moon energy to fuck them up subconscious feelings subconscious mind you know the moon energy <laughs> the moon energy it is what it is at the bottom of the deck um oh also, Virgos, they're saying here that <clears throat> there's going to be a Virgo, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, who is maybe wanting to come back towards you guys. I'm saying maybe because I don't believe this person has the balls to really come back towards you guys because it's the King of Pentacles to the Two of Cups. They, they're, they're like, should I come back? Should I come back? And then they're like, no, I'm not going to come back. Knight of Pentacles, the devil in reverse. And then they're acting like they're good, but really they're not good. Strength card. So this person here, Virgo energy, they're going to try and find ways to come back towards you guys. But because they're so insecure within themselves, Virgo energy, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy, uh, they I don't see a reunion as of yet with the Two of Cups in reverse it's just nothing's moving forward knight of pentacles in reverse the devil in reverse letting it go it's like they don't have time you don't have time either they're holding back with the strength card to actually come towards you guys this could have actually been a really good connection between the two of you guys but because they're so insecure within themselves they're not going to move forward it's like i'm going to wait for them to text me first i'm going to wait for them to call me. Well, okay wait all you want wait for the next hundred years and it's never going to happen until you understand that your insecurities are the reason why it's blocking you in love then maybe you can turn yourself upright to the king of pentacles and then you can actually be with the one that you want to be with i'm not going to flip it I'm not going to flip the King of Pentacles. Why am I not going to flip it? Because 
you guys, Virgos, in this situation where you feel so insecure that you work out of your ego because you need someone else to come for you guys instead of the other way around, it's okay to make the first move. If you're insecure of rejection and you're so scared of hearing the word no, then how are you ever going to make it in life? You go to a job interview, I'll say, thank you so much for the application, but unfortunately you're not fit for the position. Oh my God, so does that mean you're never going to look for another job opportunity ever again? <laughs> I don't care whatever the fuck it's for. You need to understand three things in life. Motivation, don't ever give up, and determination. No is not the, no doesn't mean no is, is like the end. It, that's not what it means. No means, okay, you know what? This wasn't the right door for me. I'm going to go to the next door and see what happens. But because you guys get so fucking stuck on that no energy... Uh, you guys end up blocking yourselves, okay? So hopefully you guys can learn to get yourselves out of that energy and learn to uh, understand that life is life at the end of the day and shit happens sometimes. And the only person that is blocking you would be you, King of Pentacles in reverse. You need to come out of that insecure energy, thinking out of your ego, whatever the case is. At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the King of Pentacle, uh, King of Wands. <sighs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? This person here... Definitely heartbroken over this situation. This might be coming to a close ending with the world card to the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So this person here is truly, definitely trying to hold back on trying to reach out towards you guys because they're absolutely hurt and heartbroken. And they're going to want to come back towards you guys with the Three of Pentacles to work on the relationship. But because there's so much sadness, so much betrayal, so much pain, the connection came to a close ending. The world card, Wheel of Fortune, they still think about you guys a lot. They still want this reunion. They are going to reach out to you, Page of Pentacles, because clearly this person misses you a lot, but they're really stuck in their head a whole lot. Like really lots of fear, PTSD, really stressing themselves out so badly to the point where they're not even able to make a move. Like they're not able to make a move at all. But eventually maybe they end up will do they will end up doing it with the cherry card to a pentacle. So this person's gonna is going back and forth, back and forth. If um <laughs> It's like they're going to send you a message, so they send you a message, and then they sit there and they wait for you. They sit there and they wait for your message, waiting, waiting, waiting. Some of you guys are like, no, I don't, I don't want to send a message right away. And maybe this person's expecting you to send a message within 2.5 seconds, and you guys are like, no, I'm not really going to jump on that right away. Just because you came to me doesn't mean I'm going to jump on it right away. You understand? It doesn't, you don't have to jump on anything right away. You don't have to. You're allowed to think for a second on whether or not if you want to respond back to any message, whether this be you guys, Virgos, or the cross watcher, or whatever the case is. Just because somebody reaches out to you, that doesn't mean that you have to respond back. If you don't want to respond back, you simply don't have to. You really don't have to at all, at all whatsoever, right? And a lot of you guys have the energy of the chariot to the nine of pentacles. It's like... <sighs> Anyway, this person here, they're coming towards you guys, chariot card, cancer energy, they're going to reach out to you too, pentacles, they may have been going through a lot, a lot of obstacles, a lot of bullshit, maybe even agitation as well, seven of pentacles, they're having to sit down and really think about why they're annoyed and agitated, but it's more so because of the fact that they're missing you very much, and they're stopping themselves, like self-sabotaging themselves from coming towards you guys, you guys are so cute and so beautiful and so handsome, Virgos with the nine of pentacles, you're single, you're happy, you're healthy, you're spending time in nature, the weather is looking better. You guys are going to see a cute butterfly. Some of you guys are going to see a cute little robin as well, showing you that spring is definitely here now. And things are going to start working out in your favor with the Six of Wands. The last thing you guys are going to want to do is be around anybody who is absolutely jealous and envious of you. It's like tit for tat type of energy. It's almost as if there's somebody here who's trying to figure out a next way to one up you. And they're saying, no, it's not going to happen. Virgos are already on their shit. You guys got somebody here as well who sits there and stalks you and watches you guys all down the day. Maybe at a workplace as well. These people are sitting there watching you guys with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely, they're going through a lot of shit. All your enemies seem like they're going to, they're going to get, they're going to get got. With the Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, you guys are happy. You're successful. Everything is working out in your favor. If anybody hurts this hippie over here with the Nine of Pentacles, vengeance is going to be served immediately. You guys, Virgos, are coming towards success with the Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. You guys have worked so damn hard that I do believe that people could potentially be copying you with the Page of Swords, but they, if, if they even remotely do anything to copy you, copyright you, replicate you, try and be you, right, then they're going to get, they're going to catch it with the Ten of Swords immediate, 
immediately they're going to catch it because go embrace yourself. Go be you. Go do your own thing. Mind your own business pretty much. But you guys got a lot of spectators here who are sitting there watching the work that you guys do and they just simply know that you got it all. At the end of the day, you got it all, nine of cups, and you have full control and you have full power and you are definitely in your energy of the emperor to the high priestess. You are so, so divine, Virgo, so divine. You're intuitive, you're, you're successful, you're an entrepreneur, you have protection, you're good to go, you have everything that you need in life with the Nine of Cups. This is very, very powerful energy. And you guys are the type of people who speak up and speak what your truth. You guys are always you guys will always have justice in your favor. No matter what, you guys are always going to have justice. You guys are the type of people that you speak your truth. Some of you guys are, do a lot of communication. You guys are always speaking. Some of you guys speak for a living, depending on what type of entrepreneurship you guys are caring for with yourselves. And at the end of the day, because you guys have the energy of karma, you guys have the energy of judgment that if anybody does come towards you guys, they should and they're not good to you guys, they should apologize to you immediately just because of the fact that you guys carry that energy. They're not saying that they have to. Nobody says people have to do anything. However, though, you guys do have very, very strong energy on you guys and very, very powerful energy too that it would be the right thing for them to apologize to you. <laughs> it would be the right thing for them to apologize to you. <laughs> uh, that's funny, Virgos. <laughs> Um, at the end of the day, uh, there's also a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who wants to come towards you and apologize to you, but they're saying that you guys are going to jump into that Queen of Swords and you want to understand what's really going on. So you're willing to make the balance with the Justice card and make everything right. Uh, especially if somebody here or they want to make everything right between you and them because they know that it would be wrong if they didn't make things right between you and them, especially if they were in the wrong, right? And realistically... You guys got really fucking powerful energy. You guys got the end the you guys got everybody on your team. You got everybody on your team. Your energy carries judgment and your energy also carries justice. Which is the you guys carry karma on you. That if anybody looks at you sideways, anybody says anything to you sideways, anyone says says anything, does anything to you, they're gonna get fucked up for it. You guys got Archangel Michael stepping into the situation as well, who is going to make sure that he protects you, takes care of you, and cuts anybody off who is not good for you guys at the end of the day. You guys have success, happiness, and blissfulness coming towards you guys. You guys got the energy of the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Lover's card. Everything will work out for you guys in the long run, and the Star energy. You guys got such beautiful energy coming towards you guys, and I think that's miraculous. Miraculous. <laughs> they said miraculous. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to be presented with love, um, a relationship, prosperity, abundance, wealth, success, clarity, intuition, and also healing for yourselves, specifically because you guys have been through so much that the angels are going to step in for you. You guys look like you have been also doing the work on the spiritual level as well, which is so great for you guys. Virgos, congratulations for doing that for yourselves with the 111 energy and really staying close to the angels. They, they do condone you very much so because in order, it's so, it's so fucked up because you guys have gone through so much crap, but you guys had never stopped giving or being genuine or stop stop being you, you never stop being honest with people and how they choose to react with your honesty it's not your problem it's their problem you obviously trigger something within them for them to treat you the way that they may have treated you so for that what's going to happen now is good karma is going to come for you guys with the higher with the high priestess justice and the king of swords archangel michael will always be there for you no matter what he's going to protect you take care of you bring you uh, uh bring you love towards you give you the clarity that you guys need give you whatever it is that you guys need honestly and give you love as well with the lovers the star card everything works out in your favor especially every that may have been stolen from you taken from you people thieving from you as well uh, taking more than they need to take from you and you never and they never give you guys anything by at the end of the day whatever you guys choose to do you guys do it out of love you don't need nobody for anything however though the universe may differ understood the universe may differ just because you don't need shit from anybody and just because you do everything with a genuine heart, the universe sees that you don't go out of your way to give to anything, to give to charity, to give to the homeless, to give to the needy, to give when somebody gives you, you give back. You know, it's that energy of respect and reciprocity. These are very two important things that you need to understand in life. If you're always holding back your pocket and not giving back in turn, 
then people are going to look at you like, damn, you're one stingy ass motherfucker. You're greedy and you're very fucking stingy. Nobody wants to be around people like that. Just because you don't need shit from nobody, it doesn't mean that they should not treat you with respect and be there for you. Even if that doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that they have to give you money and they have to give you gifts. No. Maybe sometimes somebody just needs a friend. Maybe sometimes somebody just needs like, you know, uh, a shoulder to cry on. And if you're nowhere to be found, what the fuck is the point of you even being around? It's just straight up. It's just straight up. So at the end of the day, Virgos, Archangel Michael is here. Justice is here for you guys. You guys are so highly protected. You're so highly intuitive. You guys got really beautiful energy that's coming in for you guys. You guys got also a relationship in love. Watch out for any uh, Gemini. Uh, okay. Watch out for any Geminis. Watch out for any uh, Aquarius and watch out for any Virgo females, specifically females. Stay away from these people. Stay away from an Aquarius female. Stay away from a Virgo female and also stay away from a Gemini female. Because if they see that you're getting everything that you need in life, they're going to try and see if they can take that away from you. However, though, green snake in the green grass... Don't be publicizing everything that you guys got going on in life. Sometimes it's safe and okay to keep things private. Thanks, cuties. Bye.